Well, hello and welcome to This Week at Ridge. I'm Pastor Jared. You didn't say and. <laughs> and? I'm Beth Ann. And we are glad to be with you as we start a new week together. And we hope that you're enjoying the beautiful weather outside, that you're able to get out and go for a walk or to do something fun as uh, buds are starting to bloom on some of the trees around here at the church. And we look forward to uh, all that this spring will bring with it, including um, Easter Sunday, which will be outdoors this year on Sunday, April 4th. It's going to be a 90-minute service. We have a lot to celebrate, and we'll be having it outside so we can sing together. Uh, so uh, circle your calendars and mark that. 10 a.m. on Sunday, April 4th. Uh, we'll be outdoors um, and looking forward to being together. Uh, but we do want to let you know about some of the things that are happening here at the church this week. And uh, to get us started, tomorrow we will have the Women's Tuesday Morning Bible Study. They'll be meeting at 10 a.m., their usual time, in rooms 104, 106. So if you'd like to join them, feel free to stop on by 10 a.m. Tuesday morning. Rich will also be playing during his normal sweet hour of praise from 1 to 2 p.m. And, uh, and I wasn't in the room at the time, but rumor has it he was playing some Elvis on Sunday before worship. So uh, they were really singing out. They want to have a whole Elvis concert, apparently. Sammy and Jen and, and all of them. So if you come on Tuesday, may, yeah, throw out some suggestions to Rich that maybe aren't just from the hymnal. Um, that's tomorrow, 1 to 2 p.m. Staff Parish will be meeting tomorrow evening as well at 7 p.m., and then looking ahead to uh, Wednesday, the men's Bible study will meet in the afternoon. Uh, the worship planning committee will also be meeting at uh, 2 p.m. Uh, I'm sorry, 1 p.m. on Wednesday. And then my Bible study on Zoom will be 7 p.m. Look on our Facebook page or in the church email for the link to join that. Thursday morning, the men's Bible study will meet. I think they're still meeting via Zoom. And Raft, Ridge Adult Fellowship Time, will be at uh, the morning session from 10 to 11.30 a.m. Uh, then on Saturday, Compass Team meets again from 8.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Compass members, make sure you read your 111 pages. Or no, 11 chapters. I think it's close to 100, 108 pages. Have either of you counted? You guys had different books than me. You have fancier ones. Do you know how many books I read? <laughs> That's part of the joy of seminary. Or and the he added another book. I it's a good book, though. We're looking it is forward good. To I'm it. already on, like, chapter 7. Good, good, good. Um, we, we might be talking about that later, actually, this book, later in, 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 our, in our church, maybe this fall. So, anyways, <laughs> they're getting a head start. Maybe you guys will join us later. But. Okay, that's all I have. Um, Beth Ann's got some fun updates and lots going on too. So I do. Sure. Lots of terror. Lots is happening. Uh, for as far as committee meetings go, the edu uh, education team is meeting at 7 p.m. on Wednesday, and we will be finalizing the Stations of the Cross. Uh, that's coming up on Palm Sunday in Fellowship Hall. And there's, it is from right now, it is from 1230 to 2. So you are welcome to come through and check out the kids and the stations and see the Passion of Christ as it had unfolded during um, Holy Week. The kids are excited and kids from preschool all the way through high school are going to be taking part in that and it's going to be a lot of fun. And then education, that's education. Youth Council is meeting at 6 p.m. on Thursday, and we will be discussing uh, the middle school mission trip and the high school mission trip, plus uh, what youth group is going to be looking like as we begin to reopen the church. So there's lots of things happening there. Um, for my Sunday school families, if you have not signed up for the Easter event on Holy Saturday, make sure you check your emails because I sent an email this morning to remind you to sign up for that so that your kiddos can come and have some fun um, on that Saturday before Easter. And I think that's it. We are we are looking at uh, you, you'll be getting an email hopefully later this week about um, about our phased reentry plan and so um, conversations continue to unfold uh, with 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 church leadership and so we'll be hoping to make a decision on that um, as we as we move forward so be on the lookout for an impending announcement um, hopefully later this week. Um, 
Oh, the other thing was, is this Sunday is spring forward already. Time change. So, um... Do, it does, is it me, or is it a week late this year? I, I'm is always Is it always the beginning of March? None of us know. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was, I don't know, I was confused by I it. I always thought it was the first week, and then I kind of panicked a little, and... Yeah. This guy's like, no, it's not. Yeah, I said, well, then it's next Saturday. He goes, I don't think so. I'm like, well, we have to do it sometime. So, yeah. I grew up, I grew up in the weird part of, of Indiana where we didn't change time zones yeah. for until however long recently. So this is still, I feel like I'm always behind. Oh, it's going to be so fun at your house. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Kids don't have any concept of time. Although they might start waking oh, up. Their eternal clocks at really get messed up. Five. That might be better for us. <laughs> but that's it. I don't know. I don't have anything else. I don't think so. It is beautiful out. We do hope you enjoy it. Get outside, go for a walk, because it's, uh, boy, I've been ready for this 60 degree weather. So For at least a couple of days. Yeah. Then, it, then maybe some <gasps> snow. And one. No! I was like, how's there snow projected when the, my temperature says it's going to be in the 40s? I don't understand the math on that, but I didn't check the low. They can say that because, you know, they can always just be wrong. Because it doesn't matter. But. It doesn't matter. It's when you look out the door and you, you know, open it up and then you know the temperature mm. and you know what it's out. I don't the windows up today. Oh, ours are all open. Nice. It's nice. Yeah. It's nice. I don't have anything else. I don't think. That's it. I'm trying I don't to think. know. I know I have something, but I can't remember. We are, we are, we are working hard, and we are keeping busy because we do want um, Holy Week to be a, a, to be a special experience mm -hmm. um, for you all, um, because we want you to 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 experience the love of God uh, that's made especially and uniquely known during uh, Christ's um, suffering and death on the cross, and then ultimately Resurrection Sunday. And so, as we go forth into the week, I hope that you know that that Jesus loves you, uh, that that God loves you so much that He's and his one and only son uh, to die for you and for the world and then to be raised again that we might have new life. So as you go forth into your week, may you live into the new life of Jesus Christ. May you walk in his footsteps and along his way as we continue throughout this Lenten journey. Um, until next time, I'm Pastor Jared. And, Still about the end. And together uh, we are Ridge. Have a great week, everybody.